We are starting off this video a bit fancier than normal. And that is because we are heading to the courtroom for a court case. If you guys remember recently, I was sideswiped by this very polite, nice gentleman. Actually quite the opposite. But... This dude wants to just merge right in front of me. You, you didn't do any of that? He doesn't think that he did this to the car. Right? You don't think you did this? No. All right. Hey, well, that could right be here. some. That's it. Right there. That's, that's it. my mirror that you hit. Well, that's all I got. Nothing, dude. Nothing. That's the mirror. Nothing. You're crazy. Nice try, kid. Nice try. Dude. Nice try. You know how many pictures I have of this car? <laughs> We're going to make sure that he gets a ticket in the courtroom because I have a feeling he's going to try and plead not guilty. And if no one's there, he does not get the ticket. And I'm hoping later today I'll be able to work on the Gloria. Just got back out of the court case and everything went in favor. At first when the judge called his name to stand up, he said, are you gonna plead guilty or not guilty? And he said, not guilty. And basically that just means it goes to a trial and everyone gets to say their side. And honestly, if you lose that, you get pegged with a pretty big fine. But luckily the witness showed up as well. After he pleaded not guilty, the prosecutor came up to him and was like, you know, it's probably not a good idea. You have two witnesses here against you. You're definitely not gonna win, dude. And you're at fault on the ticket. like." And I could hear all this because I was sitting like just down the road from him and he looked back at me and gave me the dirtiest look. But let me tell you, I had the biggest smile on my face. That was so hard not to laugh. <laughs> so yeah, uh, there we go. He got the ticket, but he got off pretty easy. Three months supervision and it won't go on his record. Bogus. And only $300 fine. Ah, whatever, at least we've won. Dude, look at the parking lot in this place. I scraped so hard getting in. That's the bump I had to get over. And this is the one going out, so you guys get to watch it with me now. Prop my phone up here. God. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, it's just a slight rub, slight scrape. Nothing too crazy. <laughs> that was unbearable. Tim has returned with his Civic SI on the stand suspension. And in the last video, we left off with installing stance coils in the front and the rear. A nice upgrade from the BC coils that were on it previously. But Tim did not like the rear fitment. And honestly, I don't blame him. These didn't go <laughs> low enough to his liking. So we have a shorter spring in the same spring rate that Stance offers. They're actually fairly affordable too. They're less than hundred bucks. So. $60 for two. Yeah, that's not bad. And I put like 200 pounds in the trunk to try to get this thing to settle more, <laughs> settle more overnight and stuff. But as you can see, we are still raked out. Yeah, it's honestly not bad, but it's bad. I know what you mean by wanting a tough tire <laughs> hanging around some of these <laughs> So basically we got to take out this coilover that we just installed and replace the spring. So this will be fun Oh, she's screaming That was it. Now yep. just the topper. Definitely. Beautiful. Rust. <laughs> I ate the Midwest. Well, it turns out these springs were longer than what was on the coilovers already. So we're either going to have to look into custom shortened dampeners or just run with it for now. Looks like we're running with it for now. For now. So easy with it. I just dropped mine. <laughs> ah, man's brought the Blitz torque wrench. Don't play. <laughs> Has to torque his lug nuts in Newton meters. You know me. No, you don't. Who's Newton? <laughs> Where's Newton? <laughs> Since we didn't get the uh, rear fitment dialed in, we are going to fix the fitment on the front bumper. Oh, dang, I didn't realize it did that. It's really bad. Well, right now it's off, so. Oh, you there took it still, off? There's still a big gap, it's bad. You said there's a little bracket that goes in here? We will see momentarily. Oh, we will see, all right. Yeah, so this is 
broken. Oh. This is how the bracket's supposed to be. And it just secures the grill to the center, but yeah. I see, I see. So I'm gonna tap and chase this hole, I think, because this hole does not thread. And then this is a new bracket, which I have. Let me whip out the forbidden kit. Now it's called the forbidden kit because it's usually a stressful time when this kit comes out. Tap and die. These tools are used to recreate threads that are messed up or non-existent. It can usually go terribly wrong and sometimes you're already too deep in a project that you don't even want to think about trying to retap threads. Luckily this one should be pretty easy though. Tim's already got the old busted bracket off. Starting to put on the new one. And I never want to take this off again. What? Why not? Plastic is so bad, dude. The way that it threads back together and like threads apart, you're always worried. And you know what they say, plastic fantastic. <laughs> While Tim's finishing up putting this side on, I'm gonna start tapping this thread. Now he has the brand new OEM bolt that goes in there. It's not a regular style bolt like I thought it was gonna be. Ooh. So it looks like it's an Allen head with a built-in washer. Threads are not happy. We're not gonna destroy this new bolt though. So let's match it up to one of these. My guess is this is gonna be an eight mil. Now I like to just take the bolt and the threads next to it. Oh, actually this is smaller than eight mil. Six by 1.0. You can tell because there's no gaps between the threads. Now you don't usually wanna put in tabs dry. So I like to grab some engine oil and drip it on the threads. can hear the crustiness. See how much crust was in here? Oh yeah, pretty crusty. Look at that. Wow. Yeah, no, I expected that for sure. Moment of truth. Dude, no more bumper sag either. So good. See how that thing popped in the yeah, place? Yeah, centered it. Wow. Yep. That is a big difference. There was like, I could fit my whole finger really? under the light, genuinely. Between the light and the bumper, I could fit my finger. I just dropped it. <laughs> yeah. The small little things actually make the biggest differences. They're always the most underestimated changes. But I mean, I'm not even talking about the bumper change here, but almost anything that you ever do to a vehicle ever, the thing you underestimate ends up being like, whoa. whoa. <laughs> and it's crazy because I didn't really notice you had bumper sag before when you pointed it out. Yeah. But like now? That would look like a new car. New car, who does? So a lot of you guys have noticed probably that I use Husky ratchets. And that is because the warranty, you just go in, grab a new one, and they exchange it. No problem. You don't gotta wait for a tool truck to come by. And you don't gotta spend a hundred something dollars on just a ratchet. They're like 20 bucks, but these lasted a few years. Time to exchange them. Nice. Damn, this is my first time seeing this car in person. Just got to Omar's. Pretty sure this is Joe Webb's car. Sick. Got the flames painted on. Okay, okay. This thing's gonna be rowdy. Pretty sure he's putting a V8 in it, but it's gonna be a dedicated drift car. It's already got the cage done. Oh yeah, Hydro's in there. This thing's gonna be a certified ripper. Ah, yes, the Gloria. Let's see what we have to work with. We haven't looked at this car in quite a bit. This is the damage. And for those of you who don't know about the car like this, that is the rear clip that we have to use. Now, I don't have the other quarter panel here yet. This quarter panel is kind of buckled in. You can kind of see it's folded here, pinched here. And this car, the half cut, has a damaged quarter on this side. It was actually T-boned here, kind of unfortunate. So at least we can get started on it. I did source the other quarter panel. It is still in Japan, unfortunately. I'm still waiting for it to ship out on a container. So who knows when that's gonna get here. 
I got stuff to do on the car. I'm not gonna be waiting around. We're just gonna try and at least get as far as we can until we have to wait for that last piece. I think today the glass guy is stopping by, so hopefully we can get the rear windows pulled out of both cars and have this car situated in the garage spot, hopefully. I offered Omar to trade an RC car for a garage spot for the winter, so I brought him a little gift. We'll see if uh, it's up to par. Are those rotors or pizzas? Oh. <laughs> Dude, this is my first time seeing this car. Me too. You too? Yeah. It's just, you guys just painted it? Yeah. Hard. Yeah, too bad it's a secret, so you can't upload that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, no one talk about this car. Close your eyes. <laughs> oh, Logan oh. already dirt dropped and cooked his stuff. I fixed that. Some, some super glue? Oh, you just pop this thing back in. No, the knuckles busted. That's why it came out in the first place. Uh -huh. Where? Oh. Oh, yeah. Snappy snap. Because it wasn't carbon fiber. Well, dude. since I'm tired of you crashing mine, decided to get you your own. This man already smiling. <laughs> <laughs> Which one you got? Brand new, dog. In box. Supra. Yep. You got to order your own cool body. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Already I bummed because it. it's super. <laughs> Don't worry, we got people for that. Whoa, look at that price tag on there. You rich. <laughs> I would say lucky. <laughs> Hogan knows. This is cool. Comes with some oh, practice instruct cones. Instructions. So you can try not to hit stuff. Come on, T37s too? Yeah, no, those are rotor grids. <laughs> <laughs> no, for those of you who don't know, I let him drive this one a bunch and he is the one that finally broke the front bumper so now you can break your own dude this thing's cool i might leave it a super actually damn oh thank you mike dude i charged the battery too for you you did it's ready to rock <laughs> <laughs> you gotta show me how this works all right oh it has oh, it's got hood yeah, clips these ones have clips we can convert that later but oh, get some magnets on it dude look how fresh this thing is Give, it, give me 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> 20 minutes, it'll be off roading this thing. Where'd the battery go? No, I just yeah. tuck it. Oh. I'm gonna put that over. Fancy. Oh, what'd you do? Right, it's Where on. is it? Right oh, here. that guy? Yep. Oh, you heard that? Beep. You heard that? <laughs> oh, I forgot that's the go. That's the go first. <laughs> <laughs> yes, another one to the crew. I'm driving a lot better on the surface than it did on the carpet. Yeah, or it looks like that at least. Damn, look no at you track, go. there's no traction on this. Are the tires? It's the tires. I actually I brought you some other wheels too if you want them. No way. That's the goal. Since, go. since you like your road of grids, it's I got you some green ones. Oh, cool. But these have the street tires on them. Yeah. Oh, glass guy. Oh, glass guy. Where's, where's this? Let me get this body. No, boy! Why not? Get this. Yeah, you can, you can get this one. one. I don't want that. <laughs> Will that go on mine? No, I don't have holes. Oh, here's your knuckles. I don't know which one you need, so there you need all a them. rear left. <laughs> oh, man. Snap, dude. Cisco the glass plug. Once again. Keeping another machine on the street. Yeah. What do you think of your own car, Joe? It looks tall. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think sick. What's the ETA on getting it running and driving? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> as long as I have money, maybe I'll I'll get it done soon. But you hitting an it. event this year? Come on. Uh, hopefully FNL. When's that? Uh, New Year's down in oh. Houston. So Houston. Hopefully do that. That'd be a good one, dude. That would be sick. Yeah. It's crazy how far back <laughs> this is. Like, what? Oh, the, like how far out the bumper goes? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's like, it makes the car really long. It does feel long, but it looks short just by looking at it. Yeah. But like compared to an S chassis, you'd see, you know, core support just. Yeah, this one's like. Wow, FDs are nuts. Yeah. And the way the radiator mounts, it's gonna like be under the core support, so there'll be like a ton of room between really? the engine and the yeah. Damn, that's sick. Oh, it got Wise Fab. Okay. Oh, yeah. Not like, messing around. <laughs> the car. <laughs> Did it really? Yeah. When I got the the shell, it like the guy had bought a Wise Fab kit. It was like brand new, 
and I was like, okay, I'll just run it. There you go. But, Damn, dude, that looks sick. Good yeah. stuff. And you have a carbon trunk? Carbon Kevlar. Kevlar, okay. Yeah. Fancy. Okay. Damn. You gonna run a wing on this? I kinda like no wing. Wingless? Yeah. Yeah, I think it looks like a like a slab of soap. Slab of soap. Slab there we go. Like a slab of soap. You need a livery with I soap on the like side, not flames. Soap. Omar just found his happy place. Oh my <laughs> gosh! <laughs> right into the jack. <laughs> Man, look at you go, man. You're cooking it already. <laughs> Sorry, Supra, but you're gonna have a really hard life. <laughs> <laughs> already, it's already dude. beat up. Oh my gosh. <laughs> look, there's marks on the hood, too. Jesus. Omar is ruthless. This is the best way to get overspray off a of glass. <laughs> <laughs> Casual FD glass. <laughs> Cisco the glass guy took a look at the Gloria. Unfortunately, he didn't have time today to pull it, but we do have to prep the car for it to be pulled. Forgot about the fact that you have to take out interior in order to get to all the tabs and clips correctly. So we're gonna have to take out the back seats, seat player trim, headliner. Yeah, whole lot of work. Luckily, we had this car partially stripped already, so he had a better idea of what he had to do to it. So, we need to finish stripping this one, and then strip this one as well. I hope I left the battery unplugged. That way it didn't drain. God, this hood is so heavy. Will this thing start up for us? Let's see. It's been sitting for months at this point. At least one entire month. Second drive. Man, I forget how nice this car is. Forgot I had some Hot Wheels in here. Yes. Please fold down. There must be something back there, yeah. Oh, how'd that slide out? It went in and then it came out from the bottom. Bolts. Yeah, there we go. Screws. <laughs> what the heck? Yeah, it's holding the seat in in the middle. I wonder if these seats have the clips on the bottom. Wait, pull up. Oh yeah, there's a tab down here. Oh, is that it? No way. Yeah, Those were so it. easy to take out. Yeah, oh, I'll probably go on that side, yeah. I'm gonna smack an S13 with flames on it. Go yeah, definitely. We'll make an inside pile. I'll probably just put it right there. Not on the poop, though. <laughs> Got a harness down here. Sound deadening. We're actually gonna keep the sound deadening in this car for once. This is the luxury vehicle. Were these seats out at one point? They would have had to have been. Looks like another screw right here. This oh, stinky. Put these out of here. Yeah, I'm curious to see what transmissions bolt into this car. Haven't even looked under the car yet. Why well, Z32? I must, I would assume. Well, the thing is, these came with VQ options, so I'm wondering if a CD will fit. You're right. You're right. Imagine a six-speed Gloria. Ooh. With that AC. Come on. Hour. I wouldn't be opposed to putting a VQ35 in here, honestly. What about the top? There's something on the top. Oh, yeah. Is there a seatbelt holding it? Up here. You might, might have to lift it up. up. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, there's a hook. Oh, there was a hook? Yeah, see right here? This metal bar. Oh. And yeah. this hook. Wow, interesting. Oh, here too. Mm -hmm. And here. What was that plug for? It's not even plugged in. Hmm. Looks like a radio plug. Some even one down here. Some options that I didn't get. Probably, probably an option. Yo, this is wet. Why is that wet? It's leaking. That's not good. Well, I guess this door doesn't close, so humidity does get in it. Did you write it? Right, my side again? Yeah, on your side. Oh, fold that thing up first. Oh, me? Yeah, wedger. <laughs> wedger back in her place. So, that was so easy to take out. That was. It's nice and oh. simple. What do you hope Seatbelt. There's some bolts. Here, let me put those back. Oh, yeah, you're right. Ooh, I've never seen a harness tunnel like this. That's, That's really it. cool. Wait, what? Are these stock? Are they just glued to it? 
I'm so confused. You see oh, that? There's no nice camera. This is definitely not stock. This... No, no. Look, that, that would have been attached. Yeah, that was fine. Alright, that's some ratchet stuff. <laughs> what? Why is this glued up? It there? was glued on here on this side, but it must have broke fell off. Yeah, I don't know if I like that. Probably unplugged from the trunk. Yeah, let me see if there's a plug. I open the freaking trunk now. All these ties. Hopefully for the last time though. I don't plan on putting the busted trunk back on the car when I take it off. So that's kind of nice. Oh, yeah. Also, we got another badge. All right, be careful. It hits the quarter glass or the back yeah. glass. Real slow. Yeah. Fuel tank. It's such a weird sight, man. Is this hinge okay on that side? Oh, this gotcha. hinge? No, this one's warped. All right, so then I would take it off from here. Have you ever messed with trunk hinges before? They're insanely hard to get these yes. on. Because this is thing. really what pops up the trunk. Really? The, t the tension between these two rods. Oh wow. Oh yeah, look at this radio stuff here. Don't go. Look at this. What the heck? I do wish this tray was not glued to it. Not anymore. There we go. I'll put these in this passenger seat. There we go. Although I'm sure you won't find those. Oh, let's go find a clip tool. I don't want to bust all these off with oh, yeah. screwdriver. Does Omar have the clip tool? That is the question. Oh man. Oh boy. I have very low faith here. Oh, this is actually pretty organized. Look at that. It was organized where it counted. Stop. All right, this part is next. I'm pretty sure these have a clip on the top. Yes, they do. Okay. Does it just pull out? Yeah, just like an S13, same clip. <laughs> There's wiring in here? The wiring. Ah, oh, crispy clips come out so nice. Yeah. Uh, I wonder what that's for. Why is there, like this and set it down like right what is there a harness in here for? Oh, it's lighting. Oh. That's cool. It even says Nissan on it. Oh, oh okay. So that would glow. Oh, these right here. Yeah. Mm. Those would glow the ceiling. That's, that's, Let's pull this ball that's some luxury, baby. Look at that. Mm. Oh, that's oh, the bulb. Oh, boy. You probably change the color of that. Oh, for sure. Should I take, I uh, might as well take off the seatbelt, right? This should, oh yeah, this should come up now. Hopefully, hopefully there's nothing in the oh. back. Oh, oh. I heard something. I fall. heard a clip. I heard a clip fall too. There we go. Sick. No, I just play it down. I'm sure you can't find this piece. Yeah, no. Well, yeah, actually, because my half cut came with one. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Still gonna take care of that one. Though. Yeah, that's a nice one. The other one's kind of crusty already. Yeah. Some foam pads to hold it up. It's not on this side though. Maybe they're attached to it still. Or is this side hold it up right here? Uh, here. Oh, <laughs> it was all the way over there. I, mean, I guess these are kind of crusty. The trim is off. Stock speakers. Can I poke it? Ah, I did it. Should I do it? Do it. Go ahead. Ah. Oh, <laughs> through? <laughs> hey, you said if I could poke it. Said, yeah. So, I gotta do that. Just... This man's aggressive with it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. The ones in my S13 disintegrated. Just touch them like oh, this. Oh yeah, and then, <laughs> turn to dust instantly. Dust. All right. Oh, dude, is this the trunk hinge bolts? What the heck? No way. We gotta get this off as well. Learning a whole new chassis right now. Yeah, right. It's kind of fun. It is. Where's that third brake light? No way. Is this it? What is this for? Look at this. Huh. Oh, that might actually be it. Wow. Oh god, I well, need those. Big, thick bolt. I like how they use these instead of actual hardware. Although it looks like a 10 mil would fit on here. Okay, let's see. Yes, that's the light. There you go. Hold oh on. my god, that's cool. There you go. That's really cool. That's Crispy. Super simple. Yeah, that's really simple. I'm definitely gonna put these threaded plastic screws or nuts back on here because. Good luck finding those anywhere ever. Go car tip. Put your nuts back where they came from. Put your nuts back. I know, this one's holding a whole bunch of water. You should drill a hole in there since it's junk anyways. I'm surprised it sealed so well. It is. <laughs> <laughs> With how crumpled this side of the car is, you'd think there's at least one pinhole. No. But no, it's a whole pond. 
Before we take the trunk off, let's take off the seat belts. Then we can put all the trim in one place. Oh boy. Are we gonna find a 14 in here? Oh, there it is. Three eighths. Damn, looks like the other end of the seatbelt is all the way back here. All right, this all goes down there. Put this guy with the rest of the interior. There we go, seatbelt is out of one side. Seatbelt All right, next seatbelt's out. Yeah, let's take off the trunk next. All right, I'm gonna do it. Let's probably close it first. Those are probably like 10 mils. I can't even see them. Yeah, yeah probably 10 mil. The 10 deep is too deep. <laughs> I can't get any of them. Yeah, a shallow or maybe even a ratcheting wrench. We probably should have taken off the what do you call these? The brace things? Yeah. The springs, I guess, technically. Literally. First, because now the hinges are down, but we can't get the springs off. Is there a bolt? Just do it from yeah, here. Right under the trim. Do it under the trim, and then we can take the rest off after. Oh, I see. Take that off. off. Yeah. And bolt it off the trunk, and then take the hinges after that off. True. Since they're both yeah, they're bolts on there. I was gonna do it that way, but it's like we might as well take the hinges off too. But I forgot about the springs. <laughs> Thing. Yeah, it's a big move. That's a CRV right there, oh, baby. These are Phillips. Ones. I can't pull them out. Phillips? Yeah, these are Phillips. That's annoying. So hard to Dude, they're perfectly. Oh. Dude, scratching my quarter panel. Oh my god, it's not like it's getting replaced. <laughs> <laughs> my buckled quarter? We should do an all hammer repair car. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> Where we have to sick. use only a hammer. To pop out dents. Do we get a dolly too though? So we can try to make it flat? <laughs> no, no dolly, just hammers. <laughs> rocks. rocks. Hammers and rocks. We got a primitive style. We gotta build it out of the nature and beat the car with There's it. There's a rock as And tree right. branches and tree trunks. Primitive car repair. <laughs> <laughs> you had one job, dude. Not even done. <laughs> Watch that hinge, it's gonna fly back and smack the window, so I would hold it. Oh, really? Yeah, it didn't break it though, it didn't break it. See that hinge? Yeah, hold on. You got good glass in the other one? Oh, the, catch it before it hits the window. There you I go. got it. Bring it over here. Yeah, note to self, take out the spring first. Ooh. Hey, well, at least we know if we're doing this all over again. Oh, we know. <laughs> Your wigs. Ugh. Note to self, take off the harness first, then the springs, and then the hinges. Oh my god, it's gross. Living rent free. <laughs> For real. No longer. He's gonna be put to work now. <laughs> Give that boy a wrench. <laughs> Give that boy a wrench. Oh, there's a dead one right there. Oh, damn. No way. <laughs> How did you just spin off a Torx bit with a panel popper? What is that? Studs? Are they bolts in the back? Shit. <laughs> You're like forgetting, dude. Oh yeah, two studs. Two bolts. Oh two. nice, still got that 10 mil? Okay, I gotta get the, deep, get the wrench. Yeah, no, where's the wrench? In the back. Those are eight. Those oh. are eight. That's an eight. Oh, Extendo. Yeah, we gotta take the lock off. Dude. Definitely, we have to this take lock. the lock. This thing is so cool. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there Damn. you go. There you go. Oh, All right, now will this fall out? Oh yeah, look at that. The spider's still on. There. He's living water. Yeah, get him a There we too. go. Now. Oh, there's chrome in the back. Lock that. <laughs> the badge and the badge. Uh, well, I need to use some force. Was there just one stud on there? There has to probably be another one. <laughs> oh, there's uh, the same thing as that uh, Sylvia's have. Oh, the clip? Mm -hmm. Wow, that's a lot bigger than I thought it was. Oh, there's a tab on it to pull it in or push it out. Mm -hmm. It's been a rubber on there too, it does. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Looks kind of bent. 
Now, fishing wire. It goes along with the curvature of the trunk. Hmm. Where did this go on? Like this? Yeah. See the grooves on the side? Mm. You want to save this? Nice. Of course, of course. Razor blade. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> You're so strong, Logan. I am now Gloria. <laughs> Or not bring up <laughs> That's all we had to do. <laughs> Alright. Dude, I'm going to have to remove the fuel tank to replace the floor pan here. We have to drive this thing around so we can empty it out. So that you can empty it out? Yeah. Let's go pick up the K in this thing. We could. This would be perfect. Let's go do it. I'm down 100%. <laughs> right now. <laughs> Actually? Yeah. Let's go. About 25 miles away or something. Alright, let's go. Let's load up. 30 minute drive. We got a template. You got a battery for my brake light? <laughs> Well, it looks like we are Damn. reinstalling these rear seats here. Damn, that, was easy. that was really easy. Nuts out. We don't need the no nuts. Family trip to picking up an engine. Might as well because we need to use up as much fuel as possible so that when we pull the tank out, there's not fuel all in it. I guess we could siphon it out, but you know, driving it to go put a K in the back sounds a lot more interesting. That's good. That'll work. Yeah, that'll work. Back to luxury. Omar versus 90s metal. Ooh. Oh. So unfortunately, the guy that has the KA, he's not available today, so we can't pick up the KA today, but maybe we'll try tomorrow. Man, this thing is already not looking any better. Nope, not yet. <laughs> Dang, that thing looks good. We gotta move the cars off the driveway since Joe is using primer. <laughs> yeah, it's a black one. Yeah, I've driven this car before. You have? Yeah, just Chicago. At the promenade? Oh yeah, and to Chicago, I yeah. forgot. <laughs> you drove this thing to Chicago. I did. <laughs> yeah, that KA long crank. Hey, Brad. We got a slight exhaust leak. Lamar picked up some more wheels today. He had David pick them up. Look at what he got me. Sheesh! Look at what you got me. Another set. Thank you. That's what I Dude, got. Dude, it came with the tires? Oh, I mean, I mean <laughs> yeah. That's the other one's not right. These are fucking broached, man. I mean, this one's not bad. It's got another lap or two. Yeah. Dude, a one full set of Urus NSO1s. How much did you pay for these? 12 hundo. 12 hundo? You taxed me then. I paid more for the ones I bought off you. I got a crack. Oh, one has a crack? Oh, so you got three for 1200 Yeah, so you came out on top. You got a better Yo, spec. Yo, let me put one, or let me put two on the front of the Z, so I can have matching wheels. <sighs> you have a full set. <laughs> <laughs> My guy. Dude, that's a bad crack. Holy crap. Oh, that's a fatty dirt drop. You know what you do? Vice grip, drill a hole, weld it. Done. Yep. You want to put them on, David? We can put them on. Yeah, let's jack it up. Come on, quick. God, this is my favorite wheel. I swear to God. This is a uh, rent a wheel center. Rent a wheel center. <laughs> Unfortunately, we didn't get the glass bolt today, but we're gonna do that soon. Hopefully tomorrow. Thank you guys for sticking around. Don't forget to drop a like on the video. Subscribe to see more. Make sure you weren't unsubscribed from YouTube. I've been hearing that that's been happening to a lot of people. And as always, peace. Well, unfortunately, this glass cracked.